So if I do a three-way call, I'm leading them to an exposure. If I get them to a PBR, I'm leading them to a training. You have to know the sequence of events to be able to get them a bigger picture and understand what's going on. So from the PBR, one-on-one, -on -one, go-to meeting, training. These are the four mediums that I'm getting them to do. I'm coming out of a blast call, what I'm leading them to in the three-way call. So I did a blast call for Priscilla. The next day, I'm doing three-way calls with all of her prospects on the blast call. I'm leading all of her prospects to either a PBR physically with her, private business reception, or a one-on-one -on -one if they can't make her PBR, or to a go-to meeting if they're in another state or city. Does everybody get that conversation? Yes. Okay? And then still, I'm getting them all to a training. Because the more you have at the training, the more your business exponentially grows up, because the more they understand, the more they do. Did that make sense to everybody? Yes. yes. That was an amazing training. I hope you guys yeah, got a lot out of it. Just yeah. great. It was, it was great. Okay. The list? So, yeah, the list? Before the last call? No, no, because, watch, because if I, great question, I got her, I got Priscilla to make a decision, I'm going to give her 24 hours to make a decision, just like I did with all your people today, you got 24 hours to make a decision, but what if I don't have the money, I didn't ask you to have the money, I asked you to make a decision, once I have the decision, I'm immediately going to sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one if I can, if they don't have the money, I may immediately set them up with a blast call, they do have the money, I may go ahead and do the one-on-one. -on -one. I prefer the one-on-one, -on -one, but it depends on, you have to use discernment with who you're working with. Because when people are broke, and a lot of people, and a lot of different levels, then they're thinking lack of time. Even people have a lot of money, they have no time. Look at the Santos and all that. They have no time. So I'm looking at the quickest way. The key to this, this business is how quickly can you get past somebody. Once you establish yourself as the leader, that's what you got to first establish. <laughs> You're not the leader, don't worry about it. But if you are going to play the game full court for three years and get rich, once you make sure that nobody else is going to move your flag, then your only game is to get past people. And so what I use as a story all the time is, and my mentor said, if we build you a team, and many of you guys have heard that, if I build you a team of, you know, a thousand people and 999 people quit in a year, would you be upset? I would, wouldn't you? We just built a team of a thousand people and they all quit. He said, okay, let's play another game. We're going to build you a team of 1,000 people. They're all going to get 10 customers. How many customers is that? 10,000. The average bill for a cell phone, gas, electricity, what are your average bills? About $500 per household. So we're going to say that all everybody's bills are just $100. What's $100 times 10,000? 1 million. How many months is in a year? 12. 12. So now you have a $12 million a year business. Are you upset if 999 people quit? No. no. Your job is not to guarantee someone's success. Your job is to commit to creating an environment that is conducive for a person to win if they choose to. I used the example while I was doing business earlier today. We were buying LA Fitness. They will court you. They will tend to, hey, look, we get all kinds of deals. If you go down there right now, because LA Fitness is just about balance. Is everybody with me on it so far? So there, you go in there, they're going to tell you about all the programs, what they got going on, how they're going to restructure everything. They're going to get you, they're going to give you the best deal on the, pot, on the planet. But after you cut that deal and you make the decision that you're going to get in shape for you, I promise you, you will never get a call from Bally's because they're just going to take the money out of your account. Right. But the gym is in place. It wasn't a scam. It's only a scam if you don't go to the gym. That's called stupid on your part. The gym is here. <laughs> My ticket costs twice as much just to fly here to see you than it costs for someone to get in the business. So I'm obviously committed. I'm that hog. Is everybody with me on this? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this actually allows you to exponentially be able to build all the way through and the training. That list answering your question, Jean Marie, is about being able to get that list within 24 hours. First, you're going to get a list of the people that are going to get on the blast call an hour before. But as you know, we want to get a full list so that we can have another conversation and help them sort the list with the strategy, planning plus preparation. Each conversation is going to be different in your attack mode of sharing the opportunity with certain people. So I actually relate that to dating quite frequently, and that is you have men that are out there that are just oblivious that think the same thing that works on her is going to work on, on this woman over here. <laughs> no, this, it's a different conversation per person in the business. Is everybody understanding that so far? Mm -hmm. And you need to be that servant to your client base to be able to make sure that their agenda, their desire, what they want out of life, that's why I ask all the time, what's your dream? And if they don't have a dream, I ask you, what's your goal? Because if you don't have dreams and goals, you really don't need to be in my life in the first place. You're just, an, you're a wandering generality. Does that make sense? That was the bomb. <laughs> a little excited myself. <laughs>
So I am complete. Did that help everybody? Yes. Okay. Awesome. God bless. We're complete. Thank you.